Disregarding the considerable drag force of water, calculate the average power of a wheel with a mass of 8 times 10 raised to 3 kilograms would need to generate to reach a speed of 12 meters per second in 6 seconds. Power is important in the design and use of practical devices such as electrical appliances and engines of all kinds. The concept of power, however, is essential whenever a transfer of any kind of energy takes place. Power is described as the rate at which work is done. If an external force does work on an object in the time interval, say delta t, then the average power delivered to the object is the work done divided by the time interval or simply we have here the formula for the average power work over time. Power is measured in SI units as joules per second or simply watts. So 1 watt is equal to 1 joule per second. It is also measured in horsepower unit in British system. We have 1 horsepower and this is equivalent to 746 watts. Sometimes this equation here, yung power equals work divided by the delta T or the time. In rewrite natin yung equation na yan by substituting yung another equation natin for work. We have force times the distance or simply the displacement. And kung i-substitute natin yan, we have power equals force times the displacement over the time interval. And again, we all know that yung displacement divided by the time interval is equal to the velocity. We can write the, this equation in terms of the velocity. We have power equals force times the velocity. And according to this equation, average power is a constant force times the average velocity. Yung force F natin is the, is the component of force in the direction of the average velocity. And in a more, in a more general definition, tiyatawag natin siya as the instantaneous power and can be written down by this equation nga. Power can also be defined as the rate at which energy is transformed and we have another formula for the power, energy transform divided by the time. An equipment of 2.8 kilowatts has to lift a 350 kilogram table to an elevation of 15 meters. Find the time the equipment will take to lift the table. So we have the equation power equals work over the time. For example, this is a table and kailangan siyang may lift up to the height of 15 meters. And yung equipment has already, has already given a power of 2.8 kilowatts. Ang bigat nung table natin is 350 kilograms. Now, for the work, kailangan malaman natin yung value ng work. And we have here, ang value ng work natin is first times the distance over the time. And to solve for the force, ang force lang na nage-exist dito sa ating object which is yung table is mass times gravity. Now, power is equal to mass times gravity times the distance over time. And ang distance natin is yung height na 15 meters. We have given a value of power, 2.8 kilowatts. Alam na natin yung mass and yung gravity which is 9.81 meters per second square acceleration. And yung height na 15 meters, therefore, we can solve for the time. We cross multiply, time is equal to mass times gravity times the distance or simply height na ilagay natin dito divided by the power. And by substituting the values, ang mass natin is 350 kilograms times 9.81 meters per second square times the height na 15 meters. Ang power natin is Kailangan watts ang nakalagay. We have 2,800 watts. By calculating, time is equal to 18.4 seconds. This is the time na makukonsume ng equipment para malif yung table at the height of 15 meters. So this is example number 1. Example number 2. It takes a force of 1,450 newton to keep a 1,300 kg car Moving with a constant speed up a slope of 5.25 degrees. If the engine delivers 4.10 times 10 raised to 4 watts, 
or 55 horsepower to the drive wheels, what is the maximum speed of the car? In this problem, we are asked to find the speed using the power relationship na P equals force times velocity. So we just have to substitute the given given quantities and basta solve na natin yung velocity after deriving the equation. We divide both sides by force. Cancel ito. Velocity is equal to, ang power natin is 4.10 times 10 raised to 4 watts and we divide by the force. Ang given na force sa atin is 1,450 Newton. A maximum speed natin by calculating is equal to 28.3 meters per second. So this velocity is approximately 63 miles per hour. And yung power delivered by the engine overcomes the friction and yung air resistance. And also, nagpo-provide din siya ng force needed to lift the car up the hill. So this is example number 2. Example number 3. Disregarding the considerable drag force of water, Calculate the average power of a wheel with a mass of 8 times 10 raised to 3 kilograms would need to generate to reach a speed of 12 meters per second in 6 seconds. In this problem, ang, gagawi, ang gagamitin natin na formula is yung power equals work divided by the time interval. Kaya lang, we need to find the value of the work. And to find the value of the work, we will use the work energy theorem and yung work na yan is equivalent to the change in kinetic energy. Since yung wheel natin has in motion and nag-start siya from zero up until ma-reach na yung 12 meters per second in 6 seconds. So we calculate the change, change in kinetic energy of the wheel by the work energy theorem. Work is equal to change in kinetic energy and change in kinetic energy is equal to kinetic energy final minus kinetic energy initial. 1 half times mass times initial times final velocity square minus 1 half times mass times initial velocity square. Again, next start you from res hanggang ma-reach na 12 meters per second. So, this is 0 na. Work is equal to 1 half times ang mass natin is 8 times 10 raised to 3 kilograms times ang final velocity natin we have 12 meters per second. Yan yung na-reach ng Wheel after 6 seconds, this is quantity square. And by calculating, we have the work or the change in kinetic energy 5.76 times 10 raised to 5 joules. Ito yung sa substitute natin ngayon for the equation to solve for the power. Let's substitute the values. Power is equal to, ang work natin is 5.76 times 10 raised to 5 joules. Ang time interval natin is given now, we have 6 seconds. And by calculating, ang value of the power na kailangan i-generate ng whale para makaabot siya dun sa speed na 12 meters per second after 6 seconds is equal to 96,000 watts. So yung ganitong type ng power, this is enough power to run a moderate size office building. The actual requirements are larger because of friction in the water and muscular tissues known whale. Something similar can be done with the gravitational potential energy. So this is example number 3.